The 75mm f2.8 lens on the Bronica Zenza ATRS is a beauty. Let's find out how it shoots. The 75mm is equivalent to a 45mm on a 35mm camera. For most of us, we have a mirrorless or DSLR or even an analog camera. The equivalent lens that you probably have at home may be a 50mm. So that should give you an idea about what kind of images you can take with it. The great thing with a 50mm lens is you can take portraits, landscapes, urban scapes, whatever it is, you can take images with it. It's a perfect lens and it's no different to the 75mm f2.8 lens on the Bronica sensor. Now the Bronica sensor kit also has accessories such as extension tubes, bellows, teleconverters which you can use with this camera and that means that you can just add this lens to those particular items that will give you flexibility in what you're trying to shoot. Whenever I get a new lens, I like to get really close to my subject to test it out. When you get your first 75mm lens, or if you've already got one, get a subject in mind, whether it's at home, it could be some fruit, it could be a person, family member, it could be a subject outside, a friend perhaps, and get as close as you can to them. Focus your shot carefully and then take the shot. My next suggestion is hold your camera down, kind of midriff area and shoot from here. See how the lens handles that. And it's also a little bit of a test of your manual dexterity. If not, another suggestion would be just to move away from your subject. So you've got your close up now, move away. So you've got everything from the upper body upwards in frame. And again, use your own intuition and take the shot. It is a 75mm lens. Now bearing in mind 35mm, it will be a 45mm lens. That gives us a bit of scope for wider shots. So I would suggest going out to a landscape perhaps, shooting with it and see how you can frame up and capture an image on this. That way you'll have three different sets of images. You can compare and contrast how it performs in different conditions. Then keep on shooting. Now what's great about this lens is this dial focus here. It's really, really smooth and really easy to use and you get immediate feedback in your viewfinder. I think for a camera that is so old, the build quality is stunning. It's absolutely brilliant. The 62 millimeter filter on here is silky smooth as i've already said and it allows you to create pin sharp images with exceptional brightness you can get the best quality light onto your film every single time Now in comparison to similar cameras such as the Mamiya 645 or perhaps even the Hasselblad, this camera comes in so cheap and the quality I feel is absolutely brilliant. The, the lenses are really easy to get online. They're at a affordable cost in comparison to say a Mamiya or even so the Hasselblads. Probably if you bought a Hasselblad you'd probably only get the box. For the same amount of money you get the box, film back, lens, probably two other lenses, a viewfinder all in one with the Bronica system so you'll be good to go straight away. So my suggestion would be start off with something like the Bronica and if you still have a desire for something a little bit more premium then that's something that you can choose to do later on.
it has got extremely high detail on all apertures the color rendition is amazing i'm actually a little bit surprised thinking about it right now that i haven't shot any velvia or provia on it yet and i think that's something i need to do because i really think they're going to come out so good on this Are there any downsides to this lens? Honestly, I can't really think of anything. Perhaps the only thing is that it goes down to f2.8 and f1.4 would be nice. But I mean, if you're gonna be shooting at such low apertures, then chuck it on a tripod. It's a no brainer. I guess at this minute, the only thing else I can think of is that Baraka don't exist anymore. And if anything did go wrong, then there's no customer service, I suppose. And that's about it really. So if you're buying this camera for the first time, it will probably come with a 75 millimeter kit lens. I strongly recommend that you stick with that. Don't worry about getting a 150 or 200 mil lens. This is more than sufficient. Get really, really proficient with one lens. Do it really well. Understand how you can shoot with it close up, further away, landscapes, portraits, urbanscapes, street photography, whatever it is. Get out there, shoot, 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 shoot. Rinse, recycle repeat again and again and again and the more you do that with this camera the better you'll get in terms of proficiency with working with this lens but also you'll probably just not want to shoot with any other lens you wouldn't need to you will feel really confident so when that situation arrives when you are in that moment and you've got to capture that shot you're not thinking about framing you're not thinking about how, what aperture you set it at naturally you will get to the right position and capture the image that you're looking to capture. We've gone through the 75mm lens on the Bronico Sensei ETRS. Hopefully you've got some good tips on this particular lens. I wonder how many of you have actually shot with this lens before or have this camera system at home yourself and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me about how you feel about this lens and this camera and setup. And if you don't have this one, maybe you have a Mamiya 645 or even a Hasselblad. I would love to see what your thoughts are about this system maybe you worked with this before maybe you haven't how does it work on your camera have you found that the the quality of the lenses the rendition of the color is, is as good perhaps as you can see from the Zenza Bronica and yeah I mean I've got I've got a couple more videos already out on the Bronica Zenza that I've shot before so be sure to check those out I've got one here as well that you can check out I'll see you on the, the next video guys